Yes, it's James picking up the assist. James has got nine assists now tonight. Boy, this game has really started to heat up. I didn't think it could get any more high scoring than it already was. Well, I tell you what, I don't mind it. You don't either, it sounds like. Good offense is entertaining, and that's exactly what we're getting. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. And you can just see he's a different player since coming back from halftime. Lights out and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, he'll shoot two. No slowing him down, just some incredible numbers for lights out. He has 35 points, and he's unleashed a barrage of three-pointers on him. And Clark, you can tell they're good right now when the ball leaves his hand. He has racked up a ton of points. Looking at the last game for the Atlanta Hawks, it was a loss to Los Angeles. He'll sap a screen. To the wing right side. The dish to Horford. Baysmore for three. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. James has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Cleveland moving the ball around. They get the rebound. And that one's good. Love. Just not enough bodies on the glass right there. And they paid for it. Well, Greg, I know you're a little guy, but you know what it means to box out, and it's an effort thing and a mindset deal. you got to get your body between that other player and the ball. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris? Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Mike Budenholzer was discussing with his guys. He got after them and told them to turn up the intensity, saying, we've put ourselves in a corner, and now we've got to fight our way out. Show me what you have. Let's see if we've got what it takes, guys. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. Cephalosia dishes to Millsap. Kicks it to Horford. Shot from 16. And the jumper is on the mark. I love how he used his height advantage on that shot. And he had the nice soft touch with it, too. Here's Lights Out. Good on the three-point shot. Lights Out's got 40 points. And what's gotten into him today? This is getting ridiculous. The pass to Baseman. Shoots from 12. Rebounded by Lights Out. Cleveland leading by 14. Move the ball. Plays it up and banks it in. Lights out's got 42 in the game. They just can't miss. Everything they put up, it seems, goes in. You know, sometimes you're the bug, and sometimes you're the windshield. They are <laughs> certainly the bugs tonight. <laughs> Nothing going their way. <laughs> And, and I'm not even sure that I'd want to be the windshield. <laughs> no, maybe the windshield wiper. Yeah, yeah right. right. <laughs> LeBron passes to lights out. And Horford pulls it down. The Hawks trail by 16. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for Cleveland. They really had it going, Clark. Their offense propelled them. Yeah, in this case, it was the higher shooting percentage that made the difference. And this will push their record to 39 wins in a good effort tonight. And continued dominance against this team, winning both of their matchups this season. And, you know, against a conference opponent, Greg, who you're going to see four times total on the season, a two to nothing advantage is pretty healthy. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for a lights out. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Down to five on the shot clock. Puts it up, and he drops that one in. Lights out's got 46 points. Well, if it wasn't out of reach, it is now, thanks to that last little spurt. And why put the brakes on now? I just said keep on letting it fly. And the foul called on Freak. That's his fifth foul. 23 seconds left in the game. Bounds, Atlanta takes possession. Every time. Atlanta ball. Go. And so.
so it's Cleveland taking care of business in this they won this game going away they were the better basketball team quite by far tonight no question about it Kevin they certainly gave their fans plenty to scream and holler about this place was rocking right, it was on fire okay. and it only got louder as that lead got bigger and now we'll send it down to Doris Burke who's standing Kevin you guys had a tremendous second half what were the things that had to happen to win this game the 2k sports post game show. Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present to you our Jordan Freak. No matter what they threw at him during the second half, it seemed like he had the answer and was able to find all the shots he wanted. When Freak puts it all together, it's no contest. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson here with my esteemed colleagues, Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Our game tonight featuring the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the Minnesota Timberwolves. For the Timberwolves, it's been a difficult part of the season. The goal tonight is clear, figuring out a way to solidify some momentum. Coming into this game, they've struggled just two and eight over their last 10. And guys, this team getting some big help in the form of Freak. He has stepped up and been a big contributor over this recent stretch of games. Shaq, what's been the change for him? You know, he's playing under control, Ernie. He's not trying to do too much with each possession. You know, he's also being more aggressive, taking the initiative. You know, he's just going at people, the, the barbecue chicken theory, Ernie. Get out of my way, I'm going to eat you. Yeah, I mean, Freak might be one. We've got NBA basketball in store for you. Here at Quicken Loans Arena in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. It's the home of the Cavs, live on 2K Sports. We've got some terrific NBA action in store for you today. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And on the sideline tonight, Doris Burke. Cavaliers again playing host, continuing their homestand in this one. What a story right now for these guys. Win after win, it's been a phenomenal stretch. 
And they prove that they know how to beat this team. We saw that in the first meeting. Can they make it a clean sweep on the season series? We'll find out tonight. Well, they come in, I think, with the confidence that they can do just that. Make it a sweep. I mean, I look for them to attack early and really try to take the mental advantage here, the psychological advantage here in the early going. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. In the backcourt, Rubio and Muhammad. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Then there's Towns. And it's Peterson in at the four spot. There's the screen to the inside. Muhammad. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. Muhammad's got his second bucket of the game to go. Now the pass to lights out. Here's the three. And he gets it to go. And he's really been working to get those looks. And it's starting to pay off here early on. Rubio outside. Pass to Peterson. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Down low. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Off to a nice start here. They've hit all three from the field. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. When I had a chance to speak with Coach Scott Skiles, Coach said a main goal of theirs is to prevent easy looks from outside. He told me closing out hard on all their shooters is going to be a very big key in this one. If we can't bother their shooters, it's going to be an awfully long four quarters for us, gentlemen. We'll see how it turns out, guys. Thank you, Doris. Devising a strategy, Clark, to take away that three-point shot. Yeah, I think it's an important part of your defensive game plan because teams nowadays are just too good to not defend them from behind the three-point line. So it's Minnesota now. Following the three-point attempt by Freak. Towns, the pass to Peterson. Just five to shoot. Three-pointer. Muhammad, no luck. Cavaliers trailing. Down low. Here's Lights out. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Della Vadova is really good at finding his teammates. The Cavaliers shooting their first foul shot of the night. And all the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. And, guys, that's really an upgrade over how they shot last season. Not a huge upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. Offensive rebound, and Towns gets it to go. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. And it's like a running game in football. When you can pound the basketball inside, it also allows you to control the team's transition. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. And Rubio kicks to Muhammad. That's in, coming off an assist from Rubio. And that's now six points for Shabazz Muhammad. Here's Lights Out, another three for Cleveland. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Towns. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. I tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball moving out there. Definitely. Ten of their last 12 points have come off assists. Here's Lights Out. It's deflected. Inside. And Wiggins with the basket on the assist by Rubio. Rubio's got three assists tonight. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Kaminsky is checked in for Anderson. Love comes in for Smith. LeBron's checked in for Caspi. And lights out subbed in for Matthew Dolabinova. J.R. Smith and LeBron at the two and three. Kevin Love out there with Kaminsky. And it's lights out in at the five. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. Rubio outside. Plays it up and banks it in. Their interior defense has been dismal. Yeah, they're losing the battle in the paint. And there's the goal on Carl Anthony Towns. That is his first foul of the game. They are really struggling with fouls, Kevin. It's still early, but one more foul, and they're over the limit. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. No good from Lights Out. Minnesota leading by six. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. And a chance to check out the numbers for Ricky Rubio. He's been a factor for them over the last month. He's averaging 11 points a game, nine assists, and four rebounds. 
and his playmaking really stands out, making his teammates better offensively with his terrific passing. Yeah, he's outstanding at controlling the tempo. I mean, keeps the ball moving and, of course, finds the open man. Stolen away. Look at that shot! Oh, that 